All right, this is going to be a quick demo of using flipanim.com. That's F-L-I-P-A-N-I-M.com. This is the browser-based animation tool that we're going to use for our first couple animations. On the left-hand side of the paper right here, we have a couple tools. We have a pencil, eraser, eyedropper, paint bucket, marker, and some other tools available here. But our main focus for this quick animation is going to be the pencil and the eraser. Up here, you're going to see the controls for adding and deleting frames. So this piece of paper right here is considered our first frame. We know that right here because we have one frame with a number one in it. And if we want to add another frame, we simply just click on the plus sign. And now we have two different frames. We can keep adding frames if we want, as many as you need. And when you want to delete a frame, just make sure that you have that frame selected and hit the minus sign and it will delete the frame. So the first thing that we're going to do is a simple bouncing ball. Make sure that you have layers selected on this top one right here because we're going to draw in that layer and we're going to draw in this frame and we're simply going to draw a circle right here. Make sure you draw the circle big enough that way it's a little bit easier to control and draw over and over again as we go. And we're going to do one other thing before we start a new frame. We're going to click on the paper layer and we're going to draw our ground. So now we know what the ball is going to be bouncing off of. I'm going to click back on the layers and I'm going to add another frame now. Now notice what happens to the drawing. We can still see the previous drawing, it turns gray. So we're able to see where the circle was, and now we could draw where we want it to go. So now we're just going to draw the next position with the circle a little bit below that first one there. We're going to add another frame. Do not worry about the circles not being perfect. The only thing that we're doing here is making sure that we understand how the program works and demonstrating a little bit of squash and stretch. Now we're ready for the squash frame. So we're going to squash it down on the ground like this. On the next frame, we're going to have it pop back up. Actually, you know what? I don't like that line, so I'm going to erase. Now select the eraser and erase. It's a little bit better. I'm going to add another frame and we're going to move the ball up and we're going to go up again. And now I have enough right there to where we can play it back. Now the animation is not going to be perfect. You can spend a lot of time in refining it, making it look better. But we just wanted to see a, a circle, in this case, it's supposed to be a ball, bounce off a hard surface and come back up. We're going to hit our play button that's right here, and it works. Now, once again, we can make this look a lot better, and I'll probably spend time tweaking it to make it look a little bit more attractive. But this is what we're aiming for. If you're able to do this, then you've completed the assignment and you'll be ready for what we do tomorrow, which we're going to have a ball bouncing across the screen. And I'll do another demo of that tomorrow as well. So hopefully that gets everybody started. Take care.